rock your best here on your side on the mat. Knees are 90 degree angle, lifting up and down, tapping the inside of your thighs together as they go straight up to the sky. Now we're going to pulse that leg up to the ceiling. Tiny little pulses, one inch up and down. Keep that shin in alignment with the bottom leg. Then we're going to extend to the front and back. Develop A. Just extending from your knee, front and back front and back we're going to go ahead and then repeat the leg lift so the thighs are lifting up you feel that burn on the side beautiful just keep on lifting we're going to go ahead and do those pulses pulse 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 pull that lower belly in now we're going to develop a just repeat that extending working those quads and those hamstrings nice and long and then we're gonna lift for a third set, tapping the inner thighs up and down, thighs squeezing to the ceiling. We're gonna go ahead and go to the pulses, the pulses, pulses. Nice little tiny movement, get those little muscles, develop a front and back. Again, you can move forward and back to counterbalance yourself on the floor. Working those legs, beautiful. We're going to go ahead and stretch. So you could go ahead and extend that leg, the top leg. Give a little tenderizing, pounding your thigh. Then you're going to bring it to the back, turn it out. And we're going to work the inner thigh. So the inner thigh is going to be facing the ceiling. We're going to just pulse it up. You could go ahead and flex that foot to give a little elongation in that hamstring. Again, lifting nice and tall in your upper body. Keep on pulsing. Beautiful. It's up to you how many sets you want to do. You can do three sets of eight. You can do two sets of eight. You can go ahead and do four sets of eight if you'd like. Do it till you feel the burn. Now you're going to bend your legs into a clamp. And we're just going to open that clamp and turn it in. So you turn your knee in and out so you get a nice rotation in that hip joint. It should feel nice and open and a lot of release in your hips. Now I'm just going to go ahead and do the other side. Set yourself up for success. 90 degree angle on your legs, on your forearms, lifting nice with nice energy, the thigh to the ceiling. I'm going to go ahead and pulse it up. That's right. We're going to pulse that thigh up to the ceiling, lifting up nice and tall. And you're going to go ahead and extend front and back. Notice that I'm not counting, but I want you to fill in your reps, right? My reps are gonna be different than someone's rep. You might be doing these for a long time and you feel strong. This might be a first time and you just wanna do eight. So just use this as a template for your outer thigh workout. Again, we extending forward and back. I just don't want you to feel like you're alone. I am here with you doing these movements and getting strong with you. Again, the third set, we're lifting up to the ceiling, lift up and down, tapping the inner thigh. So you have a full range of motion. Now we're gonna go ahead and pulse it. That's right. Make sure that you relax that bottom leg because we just worked it. So relax that bottom leg, working that top leg, beautiful hamstrings, a beautiful quadriceps, front and back, and then we're going to close it and rest it a little bit. Going to our inner thighs, turn that inner thigh towards the ceiling, and we're just going to raise it up, up and down. Gorgeous. Make sure that you pull that lower belly in, that belly button into that spine. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Make sure you're lifting nice and long in that neck and you're not sinking into your shoulder. So if you feel like you're sinking into your shoulder, I want you to press down in your forearms and lengthen that spine nice and long. Neck is nice and long. Get those inner thigh going to the ceiling. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Keep that turnout going. You feel that burn. I know you do. We're strengthening that inner thigh. It's so gorgeous. It is so strong. We're going to bend it, clam, turning the knee inward, turning it out, turning it in, turning it out. Beautiful. Opening that hip area, so important. So we release any tightness and we're just releasing that, that 
hip area so we're more mobile, less stress on your lower back. Stretching it out. Let's go ahead and get into a cobra, into your child's pose. And mind you, you can stay in these positions much longer than I am. Have a beautiful rest of your workout. Namaste.